Hello everybody, my name is Chris and this is my channel, Barnon11970, and uh, as always I want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen to what I have to say, and hopefully you will listen to it, because I think, in my opinion, we need a lot more common sense in this world, because the direction we're headed is definitely not leading us to a more unified, more peaceful, and more positive way. And we can switch that at any time. There was an event recently, and I'm not going to mention any names of the people, because as you could see by one of my videos that was actually confirmed with a manual review, they will flag my videos pretty much no matter what I say. A lot of times they do overturn them, but every single video starts out as inappropriate no matter what the context, which is disappointing. But there was an individual who had a similar kind of frustration with YouTube, and took it to the extreme and went on a shooting spree, which ultimately ended in this individual's uh, self-inflicted um, end of her life. Now, the biggest thing I'm hearing from people is, well, people warned about this person, and the cops didn't do anything. We really need to listen to those words and those frustrations. Now, I understand, or what I like to say, understand, frustrations. Nobody wants an unsafe world. Nobody wants to be feeling their life is potentially in jeopardy. Now, obviously, thanks to the mainstream media and people out there that put out what I like to call fear porn, you'd think that it happens on a, every second, no matter where you live in the world, by what you see on these outlets. Look out the window. I, I hardly doubt that you will see any of this going on. And if you do, you're an exception, not the rule. But listen to what they're saying. And, I mean, there are people like um, Rogan, other people out there that are pretty famous in the YouTube world and have a lot of clout venting their frustrations, which are understandable, but saying, oh, the cops should have done more. Now, last time I checked, at least in this country, the United States of America Corporation, and if you don't know what I mean by that, please check out my video, The Truth About the United States Law and You. 90-minute video, well worth your time. But last time I checked in this country, we are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. At least that's what it's supposed to be. Nowadays, people can just make an accusation, and if enough people say it, the world becomes a jury. Thankfully, that's not how this system works in the court system, at least you'd like to hope so. But here's the dangerous slope that we could go on with this, because, like I said, I can understand people's frustrations. They don't want to see tragedies. They don't want to see these crazy people doing harm to others. And if they want to do it to themselves, you know, hey, it's your life. But I can understand the frustration. You cannot base law on future events that have not happened yet. How many people in your life that maybe went to a bar or maybe had a, um, a fight with somebody, a loved one, and out of frustration or anger or alcohol or drugs-induced situation said, oh, I'm going to kill that person? I mean, you ever seen guys, I mean, I've worked at bars and have been at bars roughly on a regular basis since 1994, so it's been a little while. You know how many times I've seen fights where two guys are going at it and then they're getting separated and they're both screaming at each other, oh, I'm going to kill you? Now, at that moment, they may even believe that they wanted to do that. They're caught in the heat of the moment. Adrenaline is flowing. Whatever else is in their veins, whether it be a legal or illegal drug, because remember, alcohol is a drug, should we arrest them and throw them in jail based on the fact of what somebody could do? Because then we're heading down a very slippery slope because there are many people in the world that get angry there are many people in the world that may say very unsophisticated things, saying things that they may later on regret. But does that mean we should punish people 
for what potentially can be done. Now, people will say, well, look what happened with this event. Well, for every one event like this that happens, there's probably tens of thousands that never see the light of day. And I'll give you a prime example. I'm at the point now I completely hate YouTube. No matter what I do, they will always make my choice on this channel very difficult. Now, obviously, I don't do this for the money, but it did help at the time. It did, it did put gas in my car. It did help pay a few bills. And with over 41,000 subscribers, and as you could see just in the last three videos, going as far back as January 21st, there's only one that reached 1,000, and of the four, one of them was not only flagged as inappropriate, which has nothing inappropriate in it, they manually, supposedly ma manually reviewed it and still said that it's not appropriate. And if you actually watch the video, and I hope you do, you'll see that what they're doing is ridiculous. So I, I can understand people that get, um, get mad, but I have no desire to want to go out and create a harmful situation, not only to other people, but to myself. And there are thousands, if not millions of people who may get frustrated, who may get annoyed, who may even think very not nice things that will never act upon them. And one of the things I've always kept as a motto in my life, and I live to to this day, is just because you can doesn't mean you should. But the situation we're getting is now the media and even people on YouTube, certain people that will do, they will talk about this in such a way that gets views because, you know, people will take advantage of their ability to make money and they will go to extremes and give the people what they want, which unfortunately most people want drama. They don't want logic. They don't want common sense anymore. They want somebody to do something extreme to get their attention and do it as quickly as possible. That's why channels like mine no longer work, because my channel is all about helping people think in another way, doing it in a calm manner. I'm not like Alex Jones trying to scream on the top of my lungs saying the most ridiculous things to get people to view. I want people to think clearly, to think more about what is being done and said at the moment, but the consequences of those actions or inactions. There are plenty of people out there that would not do what this person did. Now, am I saying what she did was right? Of course not. Obviously, we know that taking the life of anybody or even just trying to intentionally harm somebody is wrong. It should not be done. And this person took their own life, but, you know, they would have been punished regardless. And you can see, obviously, because this happened in California, the wonderful gun-free state, basically, the way they uh, pass all their legislation and how they complain. Notice that the cops weren't there to stop another event. Now, whether she had a gun legally or illegally is is not the major factor. Was she on drugs? Was she on any kind of prescription medicines? Because they will talk about the gun. They will not talk about the prescription medicines, the pharmaceutical products. You know, if you actually read some of the side effects of some of these items, it's, it's amazing that they ever get approved. But yet it continually happens. And if you look at the majority of mass shootings... They have one thing in common. The majority of them are on some form of antidepressant or some other form of pharmaceutical medicine. But they don't ever want to focus on that, even though that would help reduce things, wouldn't you think? But they want to focus on a tool. But notice, yet again, the cops, they're not there to prevent the situation. Because unless they know in advance, there would be no way for anyone to stop it. Because then the people, unfortunately, that were in that situation would have been able to prevent the tragedy from happening. So we cannot predict the future. At least I can't. So the police are there to fill out the paperwork, to clean up the mess, to make their reports. They're not there to stop it. So, 
these things will never change but we can change as a society in the direction that we head and the direction we are heading does not mean inevitability because it doesn't matter what road you take you can always stop and go in a different direction the only reason you continue forward in whatever path or journey you're on is because either you choose to go that way or you don't think hard enough to understand or understand your power to change wherever you are going into another direction or if anything stop but we need to be very careful about what some people are now trying to scream that oh the cops need to stop these people before something happens because then let's say somebody actually decides to do that that let's say enough people say oh this particular person I'm very concerned about this person they haven't been acting very you know normal and they are maybe piling up guns or maybe they write very depressing notes all around or maybe they've been injuring themselves or whatever situation and people call the cops and they finally say you know what we have enough evidence to predict that this individual may potentially do harm to others and they arrest that person now the people will probably cheer and say yes we prevented something from happening and that becomes precedent well who's to stop other people from making false claims about people who is to say it won't get further and further down the line where if you look at a cop the wrong way they can all of a sudden arrest you for fear of well you could have done something I mean, how many people have been pulled over by a cop? You've seen numerous videos where the people are so outraged, they're cursing at the police officers. Well, what if a police officer says, well, I felt my life is in danger, so I had to arrest the person, or even worse, shoot that person? Is this a road we really want to go down? And this is why, and as you can hear in my voice, I'm very calm. There is no Alex Jones shouting, trying to get people's attention even though a lot of people enjoy that the idea is to get people to think in a deep, different way and the consequences of things that are happening at the moment because I've told people for years be very careful about your emotions because if you don't process your emotions and think logically you become what most people call sheep you just react and you respond to a stimulus instead of thinking it through and formulating a plan and seeing it through to the end and realizing there's more to the plan than just what you're doing at the moment it's the reactions that follow so there the reason that most, so many people are controlled and easily led down the wrong path is because we allow our emotions to get the better of us because we want the get quick fix the quick fix because it feels good it's like somebody that does drugs or somebody that's addicted to sex or maybe addicted to sugar it's that sudden rush that sudden gratification but like any addiction you need more and more of it until it consumes you and eventually ends you so there are going to be more tragedies down the line there have been tragedies since humans were able to walk as far as I know obviously I haven't been here throughout the whole time period but if you look at history which is basically his story there have been tragedies everywhere there have been people that have done the wrong thing criminals have been still are and always will be present in any society especially the society we live in but we as the quote-unquote rational people or normal people or average people or whatever you want to say we can determine where we go from here do we want a society that bases things on what if I sure don't because as we know with any situation to make total change you have to do a little bit at a time because if you do too much change at once it gets people's attention even the sleeping people who don't want to believe anything is going on 
But if you do a little bit at a time, it could take months, years, or even decades. But by the time they're, they've completed their task, you are dumbfounded with the fact that your freedom is gone. You have to do it slowly. That's why you see if somebody has some kind of virus or bacteria in the body, it's very advantageous to keep the host alive for as long as possible so you can consume as much of that individual as possible because if you did too much too quickly, they're going to stop you from continuing your feeding. So if you've ever had somebody or know an animal or anything with a parasite, the parasite wants the host alive for as long as possible. So you take a little bit, just enough to fill you. Because if you do too much, they're going to stop you. They're going to react. They're going to know. Why do you think so many people or animals or whatever that have parasites, you take them to the vet or you go to the doctor and you realize, well, this thing has been inside you or your pet for years and you're dumbfounded. That's kind of how control works over the people. You do a little bit at a time. You suck a little bit of their life away from them. Enough to where it might annoy them, or it might be like a little mosquito bite, but they're not going to react. So this whole situation with the, what just happened, it's not the first time it's happened. It's not the last time that's going to happen. We need to think differently, and that means speaking out. That means no longer being afraid. That means questioning authority, because look what authority is doing to all of us. In a world that's become more divided than I've ever seen in my life, more segregation as far as people separating themselves through different races instead of seeing us all as the human race, the division between men and women, the division between the whatever politics you believe in. I've never experienced this in my life. But here's the thing, because I don't really associate with it and I don't connect to it as I used to, it doesn't affect me like it used to do. And that's another reason why I don't make as many videos anymore. Because I want to be unplugged from this corrupt system. Because you cannot be persuaded or dissuaded from something if you're unfamiliar with the programming. But that doesn't mean I can't help those that want to listen. Because for the few people that will listen, the few that do appreciate it. And if they help one other person, then that's another person that doesn't have to worry about these situations. So we, we cannot use, or we should not use, our emotions to the extreme where to deal with a situation instead of thinking about it and understanding the situation and where it could lead... We just say, oh, well, now we need to base law on guesses and assumptions. That's a very dangerous road to go down. That's a road I will never travel. Because nothing is ever etched in stone. There is no prophecy. There is no destiny. Only if you believe it to be. You can change anything. Because if you had a crystal ball or you read an, a, a page in the Bible that said your name specifically and said on April Fool's Day 2019, your destiny and your fate and your whatever says that you will go in the ocean and be eaten by a shark. Well, if on that day you go into the ocean, it doesn't guarantee it, but it will definitely increase your chances of that prophecy coming true. Or you can just say, you know what, now that I know the situation, I've been warned ahead of time, because if you see it as a warning, well, like any warning sign, if you see on the road that the bridge is out, you have a sign that warns you, well, it'd be kind of dumb to continue onward, wouldn't it? The warning sign is there to say, okay, if you continue down this road, the inevitable will happen, but you can always stop and turn around. So I don't look at prophecy or fate or whatever you want to call it as the end of all ends. I see it as a warning sign that says, hey, dummy, bridge is out. You may not want to continue because if you do continue, then you fulfill that destiny. You complete that prophecy. But that's only when you choose to do nothing. 
You can complain while you're driving down that road. You can complain as you're swimming in the ocean and all of a sudden you see a bunch of fins circling you. Well, if you were foolish enough to tempt fate and not change direction, whose fault is that? You may not be able to change the world. Obviously, when I first started this channel, that's what I thought I could do. But you can change somebody else's world, maybe one. Or at the very least, and probably the best, you can change your own world. You know, if you go to some gun rally where there's going to be these anti-gun rally protesters at that rally, and it's going to be very heated, and there's going to be a lot of arguments, well, if you're in the middle of that, there's a chance you could get injured, or maybe even killed. If you decide to stay home, you've reduced that chance. Or if you decided to go to an amusement park with your friends, you've reduced that chance. Until we think for ourselves, until we question things, until we see beyond the moment, things are not going to change. Well, at least they're not going to change for you or the people that you know or the people you hear about. It changes for me because I control my destiny. I always know that no matter what is happening, I can always change it or go in a different direction. You can too. So be very careful about this situation. Because if we allow emotion to rule us all, there's going to be more and more situations that continually happen to get us more and more scared, more and more frightened, more and more confused, more and more wanting somebody else to come in and save the day. And they will be happy to oblige. And I've said this so many times. If leaders around the world were doing their job, this world would be a much better place. The fact that more people are heavier than ever, more depressed than ever, poorer than ever, more controlled than ever, more uneducated than ever, would suggest to you otherwise, that they're not doing their job, or at least not doing their job for you. But that doesn't have to affect you unless you choose to do nothing or you choose to do the wrong thing or you choose to just sit there and allow others to say they'll take control. Plenty of people out there that are the Black Widow spider and they want you to go to their web. Good things don't happen when you follow that suit, so don't do it. So I'm not going to make this video too much longer. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen. If you listen to the end, please let me know in the comment section because I always appreciate those that will listen to my whole thing. I want you to think for yourself. If you've never seen my channel before, please check out my videos because YouTube is going to make this one automatically flagged. I already know it. It's not a surprise. This is what they do. Uh, they are also going to make sure my videos don't get out there. Make sure even if you have the notification button, you won't be alerted. Sometimes the videos won't even work. This is things I've been told by my subscribers on a regular basis. But it does get through to some people. And that's why I still continue to do these. Just not as much as I used to. Because I'm pulling away from the Matrix. I don't want to be involved as much of absorbing the negativity. But I still want to help when I can. Still maybe be a voice of reason from time to time. And if you think I am, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to share it, that's even better. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. But definitely check out my video, The Truth of, of About the United States Law and You. Check the extended version. It's 90 minutes worth your time. And you will learn a lot about what's really happening. And once you have the knowledge, you can change things. Because the people that go through their lives saying, I don't know or they believe what they're told tend to go down the wrong paths because most people now that are in control of your life in one way shape or form are doing things for their own benefit or their friends benefit not your benefit because if politicians throughout the world were doing the right thing this would be a utopia everybody would be wealthy everybody would be protected everybody would feel safe we're not headed down that path at least not yet so see that you're driving on the road, see that you're swimming in that ocean, get out of the ocean so you don't be, you aren't eaten by the shark, and if you see a sign that says bridge out, don't be foolish enough to continue going, 
and then complain as you fall down to your death because there was no bridge. You have the power to stop and turn around at any moment. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.